Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Thomas. I'm a new professor here at State College of Florida in the Department of Natural Sciences. I'm here to make the new biotechnology program a success from the very beginning. My background is in biotechnology and biomedical research. I have over 20 years of experience doing this type of work in various settings. The students are going to have the opportunity to do techniques and use equipment that is not readily available at this level. These are the kinds of things you only see at a four-year school, and not even then. Really, some of the equipment we have are things you only see at the industrial setting. So one of the real changes in biology in the last 20 years is the development of polymerase chain reaction. This technique, also called PCR, has revolutionized how biology is done. The students are going to have a chance to use this instrument um, in many different ways. Um, it is a top-of-the-line instrument that has lots of capabilities, but really when it comes down to it, you simply prepare your samples, place them inside the instrument, close it up, and tell it what to do by hitting a few simple buttons to tell it how much I want to heat my sample, and so forth. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. Lindsay here is going to help me demo a few things that uh, would happen after we've done, done, done performing the PCR reaction. And it's all about running a gel or analyzing the samples onto a gel. And what we're going to do here is add some what's called load buffer tracking dye to our samples. And we're going to use some of the great pipettes we got as part of this new program. We're going to come in and add our sample into the well. So Lindsay, why don't you go ahead and load up a couple for us. Okay. This may seem like a little simple thing, but this is an important skill to uh, develop. And it's one thing that's going to you know, allow you to step right into any of the biotech jobs in the area and start working right away and just impress those employers that you already know how to do all this stuff. <laughs> and the thing before you walk away is, do we see bubbles coming up? There's some bubbles coming up. It's all running just great. So let's give this about 20 minutes or so and we'll come back and then I'll show you how to uh, document it with the gel imaging system. So after we've run the gels, we're gonna bring them over to our gel imaging system. And what this thing is all about is a way to document our work. And proper documentation and recording what the students are doing is not only an important teaching opportunity, but it's also what you're gonna be doing in a, you know, a research lab or a research position. And what's really nice about this thing is it has a lot of features that allows us to look at DNA, protein, RNA, and document them with this great CCD camera. You can see we get a little image here. We can snap a picture of this with different lights and filters, dump it off to a USB drive, and the students will be able to take it away and analyze it. So this is our CO2 incubator, one of our another new pieces of equipment for part of this program. Um, it is basically gonna allow us to do cell culture. Cell culture is a set of techniques and um, methods that I didn't even get to do until I was in graduate school. So this is another one of the pieces of equipment we have for our program. It is a specialized centrifuge that basically spins things. But the idea is this is going to open up avenues for our students that we wouldn't normally be able to do and give them another set of skills that are going to put them that much far ahead of other possible employees for the, the burgeoning cluster of small biotech companies in the area. The idea is you're going to use this to prepare samples, and that is another thing that's a big biotech thing, is preparing samples for sale or for other testing. So I'm really excited about getting started here, um, and I'm excited that I got a chance to show all of you some of the great equipment and opportunities we're going to have in this new program. But what I'd like to do now is introduce Professor Jane Filesticker. She's the head of the biotechnology program and chair of the Department of Natural Sciences. Thank you, Matt. Thanks so much for putting this together and sharing with the, the community our wonderful new equipment and opportunities. I think that the college's investment in personnel and in the equipment indicates that we are positioned to be Science Central for the West Coast of Florida.